Hi Linda. Well, this is me doing the dishes while you are out doing the shopping. But I'm thinking about the dishes. Uh, I will get round to it, don't worry about it. However, it is getting very close to your birthday. Now, with these COVID times, it's been very difficult to have any kind of party organised. Uh, however, Lorna and Sheena came up with a very good idea. Well, I think it was, it might be off its head. Uh, but they decided they would try to get old workmates, friends, family, all together a little video clip of them saying happy birthday to you. So at the end of all that, these are all going to get put together into one video for you to watch. So let's see how that worked out. Hi Linda, here we are, Sheena, me, your two pals here, we're here. 2021 with this mask on. Who'd have thought 20 years ago when we were celebrating your 40th birthday that we'd be living like this? Yes, it's hard to believe it's been 20 years since we did our routine at Knockdo. So we thought since we've both worked with you, um, we would take a wee trip down memory lane. You're invited to join us. Here we are, Linda. Can you guess where we're starting this little tour today? Good afternoon, good evening, Mum, and welcome to the Queen's Hall here, your old, your old workplace, where a few of your old workmates and friends have uh, gathered to pay tribute to you on your birthday. Hope you're having a great night. So what we thought we'd do is take a wee trip down uh, Mammary Lane, I mean Memory Lane, to the early 1990s when uh, the hall was used by the Coral Club and we used to have a right good laugh back then when the club came in. Uh, let's face it, we didn't do it for the money, did we? So what we're going to do is sing a couple of wee numbers from the musicals from that time. So I'm very fortunate to have the Lorna White Quintet over here. Hello. One missing night, obviously. <laughs> And we're going to sing a couple of songs from the musicals back from those days. So, they're going to sing a song from a very serious and uh, religious, sentimental musical you'll have heard of called The Meaning of Life. And I'm going to sing a little number following that from that great forestry musical, Is That a Pine Cone in Your Pocket or Are You Just Pleased to See Me? Now, the first song is going to be from The Meaning of Life. Uh, I don't need to introduce it because I'm sure you've all come across it before. Um, hope you join in at home from the Lorna White Quintet. It's from the meaning of life. One, two, three. It's sacred, every sperm is great. If a sperm is wasted, God gets quite irate. I'm okay, I sleep all night and I work all day, I cut down trees, I wear high heels, suspendies and a bra, I'd like to be a girl, just like my dear papa. Cause I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay, I sleep all night and I work all day, I cut down trees and I wear high heels, suspenders and a bra. I wish I'd been a girly like my dear papa. Next stop that, stop all. Jim Anderson here. Oh, my hat's going off. The silver fox will have none of that in here. Blasphemy. That's what it is. Evil blasphemy. You will find that in here, my company. Gay boy's pleasure. I mean, gay me leisure. Get back to your work. Brian, get yourself around this building. Every fire extinguisher. Lick it clean. Oh, hey. Long Andy. 
Get some toothbrushes. I want every one of these white switches clean. Right, turn one on it, one on it, one on it. Wait a minute. Right, I've got an important thing to go to. <coughs> you won't catch me up doing any of this nonsense. I can assure you of that. Right. Timer was off. Don't ask. Coming to a theatre near you. Brought to you by the Bombay Restaurant and Big Jim Slade. It's... Queen's Hall staff in trouble. You'll be shocked when you see the corrupt hall manager. You'll be horrified when you meet the crazy bar owner. Get in my fucking bar. You'll be scared when you see the evil pool boss. <laughs> and you'll cream in your jeans when you see Catholic High School Annie in trouble. We interrupt this telecast to bring you international gymnastics from the Riverside Leisure Center in Scotland. Linda, do you remember when we used to do cartwheels in the foyer? Well, for old time's sake, here comes a cartwheel. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> What's that, Mr. Flibble? You think that was shite? Well, Lorna doesn't think it was shite. <laughs> what? Lorna thinks it was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> And Lorna thinks that because you think it's shite, we should fly in a magic carpet to see to visit the King of the Potato People and ask for his forgiveness. What's that? You think people that want to fly in a magic carpet to visit the Potato King and ask for his forgiveness are mad? <laughs> and what do you do with people that you think are mad? Uh, we fry them with our hex vision, don't we? Happy birthday, Linda. Hope you have a great night. Hope you enjoyed our reincarnation of Kentucky Fried Movie. All the best. Have a fantastic time. Wish we could be there to celebrate with you, but we know you'll have a smegging good time. <laughs> Happy birthday. Bye. back into noon and especially to Linda. Happy birthday to Linda all the way from beautiful Costa Rica as you can see. Linda, 60 years old. Can you believe it? Well, as you can see Linda, I'm dressed a little differently to how I was when I last saw you just a few months ago for Lorna's birthday, but I hope you are doing well on this very, very special day. Now, 60 that's a big mark. I, I would hope now that now that you are 60, you have actually matured away from all of the practical jokes, the work shy attitude, the general lack of professionalism that you had and that you so greatly taught everybody else that you worked with when we were back there at Gateway Leisure. So I, I'm, I'm sure you are much more professional and more mature now than you were those few years ago. So I do hope to see you, Linda, when I next am allowed out of this country and back into the, the UK, maybe December, maybe next year. But I do hope that you have a wonderful time and I thought I would like to end by singing happy birthday to you. But as you might be aware from those few times we did karaoke back in the day, that my singing voice is not really the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burst into a classroom and see if the kids will sing happy birthday to you. So let's go see if I can get some people to sing something to you. I'm just walking into a classroom now. So, so. Hey.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you. So that was, of course, if you can't speak Spanish, that was Happy Birthday in Spanish. Have a wonderful time, Melinda. Boy, it's really hot here today in Costa Rica. So as we say in Costa Rica, Pura Vida, have a wonderful life and have a special birthday. social work began I believe in 1995 and I remember the first time I met you and um, you had a ponytail with a wee lace kind of ribbon in it but you didn't look as gorgeous as our boss Helen Muir. <laughs> Do you remember she always had a scrunchie for every day and a lovely blue suede shoes. And do you remember me jumping out the box, this big box that arrived, which was absolutely raging? And also, do you also remember Jackie? Remember? Miss Bossy Breaches! And I'm going to talk about a couple of the clients, if you remember them. Now, there was Mr. Imri that wore lovely tartan trousers. Do you like my tartan knickers? No, that's my barbecue sleeves! And the other client who came in and claimed that she'd been raped and she had a picture poised and showed one of the other clients there the picture of the man's enormous beard. In no. the name of God! <laughs> and then there was a man who sang at the counter to you and you couldn't Is away. that the phone for me? Is that the phone? Helen Muir wants you. We were absolutely killing ourselves. <laughs> so, Linda, you're still here at Church Street. And I don't know if you remember during the summers, um, we were always freezing. I mean, you always had your pole in it, Karen, and I had my wee suit on. Now, there was Jim Prentice, with his taps are, God rest his soul, taps are. And do you also remember, at three o'clock every day, the smell that came from this toilet? We did not you for six. Now, I think that's why I've since put in this extractor. Did you fart? <laughs> also, Linda, do you also remember this lane? Do you remember we were tasked Sorry. with cleaning this lane? Because remember, we were non-academics, so this was a job we had to do. And do you remember there was, it was full of things like used condoms and stuff, so it wasn't a really nice job to do. Linda, I don't know if you remember this task that we were asked to do. It wasn't anything to do with admin, but we had to put all the files and bring them from the office, which is just here, to this garage here. And the only, well, we came up with a great idea. We put them in a wheelie commode and got them in here. I don't remember that, but that was another fun day. I wish, I just want to say, I really missed out not working for social you work. Did. I think, especially when I retire, I'm going to get a job Good. in social we'll get you one. So Linda, I don't know if you recognise this building here uh, because it's not longer here anymore. This was King Street where we worked between Church Street and going up to Argyle Road. So King Street, there's not an awful lot to say. We weren't here for very long but do you remember the Queen of King Street? And that was Ellis Ann. And when we brought all our stuff up we were told just to bring a wee bit of stuff up but we'd always didn't do we never did what we were told so when we came up here we had hundreds of stuff and you yes, were told not to bring all of that so we got out so linda um we've dumped the scrunchies and we're now very near our last um office um spot that you worked with me within social work and i don't know if you remember a lot of stories happened in this road throughout that time and the person responsible for these stories was actually Helen Campbell Burney. And she had quite a few accidents on this road, if you remember. But remember, none of them were her fault. Not one of them. Cheers. I don't know if you remember, uh, we're now at Argyle Road, Linda, and I don't know if you remember being behind here one Friday evening when Helen Campbell Burney found out she was going to be a grandmother. And 
She asked if anyone wanted champagne, and of course, we said yes. And she kept bringing it. She kept walking to the co Do you want more, girls? Do you want more <laughs> champagne? And we said, yes, we want more. So away she went to the co back again. And that night, the two of us were absolutely steaming. And the same Helen Campbell Burney, I don't know if you remember the story, when she phoned me in the office and said, I'm registering my wee granddaughter's name, but I don't know how to spell Chloe. Can you help me with that? I don't know if you remember that, but we did we laugh about that too. Cheers. So Linda, we're now at the front of our Gaila Road, so she worked apparently children and families. I don't know if you remember a colleague by the name of Phyllis Boyce. Now, this was actually a really good office in terms of location for her, because it was only a five minute walk to the, the weekly market where she used to buy some of her clothes. And remember she said she was always a twice size 12. Here comes the donkey, <laughs> just back from the holidays. And you also remember, you remember Lorraine Ventus, I don't know, I think she actually still works here, so I better keep my voice down. Come out the door. <laughs> um, and it was within the staff room here we had um, quite a few, we celebrated some things, you know, people's promotions, people leaving, but we also celebrated birthdays. And I don't know if you remember in this staff room, there was always birthday cakes. And although Lorraine well, didn't agree with birthdays or celebrate birthdays, she was always up for some cake. Now, this also, all this, was very handy for Dolphin Hall. And in my 40th birthday party um, poem, you wrote a line that said, under Helen Muir we had a ball. Do you mind sliding down the banister at Dolphin Hall? And yes, I do remember that at Christmas, and I remember that was actually a very good laugh. I think we'll get around for that too. And we're still at Christmas time. And remember we were almost up for a good song. Will we sing some of them just now? Lana, uh -huh. will you join me? Yes, I will. So, Jingle Bells. One, 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 three, one, one, three, one, one, three, one, three, one, three, 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 we were behind the counter and we were being attacked by one of the clients because Mark made him wait too long. And instead of coming to arrest, we were actually pressing the buzzer for the police station to come and help us out. But Mark, instead of coming to our aid, just opened the door and peeked out and went, is everything okay, girls? <laughs> we had great times. And that's really the end of this journey from social work because in the year 2000, the millennium, we were both promoted. You moved to Struan Lodge to adult care and I moved to education to a health house. The end of an era. We had great times, the good end stories, of an era. funny. Happy birthday, Linda. Happy 60th birthday, dear. Cheers. Hi, Linda. I can't believe time has passed so quickly. I still remember the fabulous nights we had in the moon with our girls' nights. Look forward to seeing you soon. Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday. Hi Linda, a little birthday message from us both. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Linda. Happy birthday to you. Many happy returns. Did you hear your mother sing there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nana. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hey! And then you'll help Nana blow out the candles. And you say, Happy birthday, Nana. You say big loud, Happy birthday, Nana. Happy birthday, Nana. Say, Love you, Nana. Happy 60th! Well, a 
huge happy birthday, a happy 60th birthday to the big sis. Hope you have an absolute wonderful day. Greetings from Bradford. Not so sunny now, but Mayor wishes you a very happy birthday. We did have a Luna and we did have a Babu, but they seem to have vanished. But they wish you a very, very, very happy birthday. I'm sorry I'm not going to see you, I'm not going to spend it with you, but hopefully sometime this year we'll get together. So a huge drink, celebrations said from me to you. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy 60th. Yep, have, hope you have a nice time. We'll have to make the video quick because it'll be too big to send. So, all the best, cheers, and have a nice time. Um, we'll love you lots. See ya. Bye. A little poem for Linda on her birthday. To Linda, you are a light in all of our lives with your positive energy and warm smiles. Not a fear where they friend you, you're loyal to us all through and through. And I want you to know on this special day just how much your friend Margarita loves you today. Happy birthday, dear Linda. Happy 60, Mama! <laughs> Kiss me, Em. Happy birthday to you, Mama. Yeah. Hi. Come over here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mama. 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Linda. Happy birthday to you. Hi. Sorry I'm not there on your birthday. Hopefully I will see you in Scotland soon. And hopefully you can come out and visit me here in Canada soon too. Happy birthday. Well, I think that worked beautifully. Uh, everything went together well, some really funny shots there, but <laughs> this has been the biggest stuff ever. I don't know, I'm going to go through it, otherwise it's brilliant. But um, happy birthday Linda, I'll get the dishes done soon, don't you worry. Bye. Happy birthday, dear friend Linda. Happy birthday.